going on guys, Boy Stopper Game here, and we're playing Hogwarts Legacy, this will be part 2 of the series, sorry it took so long, I've been doing one of my sisters and all that, but... Potato! Oh yeah, uh, okay. <laughs> this should be interesting. Oh, I'm both like a nerd. One moment. Why do I look like me though? Face. <gasps> what is this? It's someone from Dumbo. <laughs> <laughs> Why? That wasn't quite the reaction I wanted. Oh well. Right. What did you hope would happen? I suppose I hoped it would lighten the mood. Ravenclaws can be a bit on edge the first day of class. I'm ever it, by the way. You seem downright calm next to some of these characters. And you survived a rather harrowing trip here. Uh, some people say Ignatia Wildsmith has a crush on me, but... Yeah, I'm um, looking forward to my first day. Actually, it's looking forward I'm to my first I'm glad to be here. Ready, Ready for classes, classes to start. Good. Glad to hear it. Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. Most professors are firm, but fair. I mean, not all of the tricks I play are as simple as a tossed down bomb, and I'm still here. Wait, did you say most professors are firm, but fair? Ha, <laughs> I did. But probably best I let you judge for yourself. Yeah. I do tend to push their limits. I do tend I to not push their limits. I do tend to be normal, but the teachers me. hate me with Nice meeting you. You too, Everett. A lot of people seem to hate me for no reason at all, actually. But besides that, the other night. That's just brilliant, dummy. Brilliant. Hey, you what up, my G? Bye, hello. Would you like to take a look? Um, yes. Don't mind. Can't see too much in the day. But see, bro, it's out from here. Sirius Canopus Vega Naturus. In my house from here. I'm Amit. Pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. Can't say I'd recommend it, frankly. So, gee, I didn't really want to be so Ravenclaw, to but... I think you like yeah. astronomy. Oh, yes. So much to be learned from the stars. Oh, that's cool to look at, but I ain't learned something about the open air and night sky above the tower. I'm more of a history it's man myself. Don't know too much you about it, but it's like something. Professor Shaw is incredibly knowledgeable. I find the stars I fascinating myself. So my Sounds, Sounds interesting. I have good news for you. You, you are most definitely, definitely taking astronomy. astronomy. It, it is required for all fifth years. You will be enthralled yeah. with the tower. Well, Plus, a quality yeah. telescope can show you things you never dreamed of. I suppose I'll see you in class then. Yes. Oh, and speaking of class, better get to my first one of the year. Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment, is there? Yeah, Be no, I like you? it. Oh, not a better smell is probably lasagna. I think Madame Pigalle, I'm not oh, no. sure this is the right spot. No, I don't want you. I want him to be in the perfect place. A place he'll be happy with. But I can't seem to find Isn't it. Isn't more of a Hufflepuff thing? Great golden gobstones! I okay. want him to thrive here. Golden gobstones? <laughs> My own little expression. I bought this Disney seedling from home and I so want him to feel cozy. Disney is amazing, isn't it? So much healing power in such a little plant. <laughs> I have a bit of a thing for plants, as you can see. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Uh, I'm Samantha. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Is Disney used in Wiggumwell Potion? It is. Isn't that more of a half Looks thing? like someone's been studying up on their potion making. Actually, Professor Fig told me about the Wiggumwell Potion. Of course. I heard you were studying with him before term. He's an enigma, Fig. Teaches about theory. It seems to know a lot about practical magic. Knowledgeable. Professor Fig does know a great deal about um, different forms of magic. Well, I hope he told you about more than Wiganweld. You've lots to catch up on, I'm sure. Yeah, maybe I'll put it up full. Yeah. Nice talking to you. Is it a Hufflepuff who likes that? An affinity for herbology is more typical of a Hufflepuff than a Ravenclaw, isn't it? Ordinarily, perhaps, but, but it runs in my family. We have a full plot of these little fellows back home. I suppose you could say herbology's in my roots. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm leaving it you. Was nice that, to meet that you, that pun, bro. Good luck with your Disney. Thank you. 
and good luck to you too on your first day. How's Rosanna with the tears? Hey there, new Ravenclaw. Professor Weasley is looking for you just outside. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. I've been you. dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Nah, I've been well, you this day. are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first, first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Okay. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. No! Here you are. It's a book. Harry Potter? No, you don't make me find any papers or the paper can't stay in there. Out. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Oh, no, I wrote the mewing to keep track of what I'm learning. Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Where are we going? Follow me. Bro, what you walking with all that gear? Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Here we are. Quite no, what are you doing here, Willis? These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Yeah, I got a place to be. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Rebellion. Should be all. Uh, thank you, Professor. Thank, thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You no, I'm all work. No time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fink succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I'm sorry, there isn't. But I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears oh, must have been burning. Oh. Yes, you seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in the rain today, thought. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. I didn't choose, Very well. I didn't choose um, to it, chose me. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today, no, and remember you. to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you, and invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, yes Professor. Come, Come find me 
find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those surprises. I'm missing. I'm missing. Well, he's sitting in class, my desk, writing stuff. It's, it's good, good to see you, Professor. Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in the studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? I didn't like that. You did so. I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was, it was right, right to, to keep, keep the details to yourself yeah. for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon. I'm stretching my shoulders like I feel like I need a stretch. But like it may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchant? Unfold it and have a look. The map is enchanted. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more oh, information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Yes. Oh, okay. See, I see this, and I see here. where's an empty table Behind that you. nobody sits at. Let me go sit by myself. Here. Oh no! Thank you. Hello. What I don't like is people try to talk to me. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to Year 5 of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of Chant work. But Gryffindor is full I am of confident that we will take hold with the passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right? Now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But ah, before we begin, page. can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am right. afraid it is too late to study now. They really set me up. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> Do you even ready? remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed for partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. <laughs> Oh no. I got it. Accio. Macchio. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing out. without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players of oh, us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> 
So, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? We're gonna start a fire, I already know it. Okay, brother nerd. <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? <laughs> Very simply, cast Akio on one of the Sakia and relinquish your job. Splendid! Now, oh, yeah. uh, think of this like Godstone, if you will. But instead, that's it! Pity, pity, pity. Another day, another pretty pretty Very good. Another fifty. Pity, pity. Very good. Points to Ravenclaw. But huh? there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. I'm not letting her get a single point. I'm not letting her get a point. You be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Hey, you go first. I walked him out yet. Let us see I'm sorry, little one. That is how it's done. Yeah, you, you're gonna know how it's done in a minute, butt nugget. Akio. No! Don't lose, Lisa. No, no, no. Yes. Not right here. Uh. Both one stone, please. Anyway, it's anyway. Oh, that was an execution. It was a tie. Yeah, it was a tie. But I ain't losing. That's all I'm saying. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Okay. What do I do? Easy. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Day enough chatter, focus on how you will need it. This round settles it all. Let us see this. Okay, I'm not allowing her to get a 50. A 30. Yes. There we right. go. I don't angle like this. Yeah. Oh, I must suck the sock, you branch. Here we go. No, no, I don't even think about it. Oh, come on, I can do this all day. Oh, dang it. I'm gonna stand your way. <laughs> You're trash. I'm only getting you a single point. No, 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 no. Didn't count. Didn't count. Didn't count. No, no, no. One again. Do it again. Do it again. Run it up. Run back. Run it back. Run it back. I ain't gonna be a beat by a woman. Very good. No, no, bro. Run it back. Run it back. Run it back. Classes dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done, Bacta. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Thank you, but I've been holding my own. I appreciate your confidence. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. 
My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world Uganda. at a new school in a new country. Uganda suck on these nuts in a minute. Riz. Um, I would ask questions, but I got people well, to do it's been nice talking and competing with you. And with you. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Good time. Until next time. A word, if you would. You wanted to speak with me, Professor. I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Unai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Dionysor. Is Ginger really thinking he can beat the Slytherin guy? Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a total of the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now. You may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in Eastern Wales and not oh. to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A, a levitation, levitation charm. Let me show. A, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Poet? No. One, One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned. Starting yeah, with something that. small. Boom. Oof, the run. Hey, Levioso. Levioso. Now, let's try something. Levioso, wasn't it Levioso? Levioso, not Levioso. Like they're in little puss go, leaning on shit. Oh, the chin jets, bro. Griffin looks like a nerd. Gotta break both Let us begin with the basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember. Good, Now, it's well done. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, I want to. I've made a shit on you, bro. Levioso, this is cast. And Protego. You may begin. Levioso. This should be easy. Stupid one. This is Levioso first. No, I'll tell you this shit, buddy. 
I didn't want to take it, but I didn't want to smoke. Not bad for a beginner. Yeah, but you're pretty shit. Yes. You guess. <laughs> Why am I smiling, bro? My guy's a loser. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Ravenclaw. Thank, Thank you, you, Professor Second. Bro, I'm Glad I have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of grindelows entirely. Understood, Understood, Professor. So, so I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sarah will have, will have some ideas, ideas for you. Again, well, well done, done today. I, I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Hi, bro. Oh, right. getting all the that's, that's enough spectacle for one day. Class is nice, nice work. work. I enjoyed that. Well, that, that duel was quite, quite something. something. Everyone, Everyone will be talking, talking about, about it. It, it was, was certainly, certainly good practice. Practice? practice. It, it felt, felt more like I was truly an expert. expert. Sebastian, Sebastian Salo, by the way, Sebastian. didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. In fact, it was. I have to have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. A club? Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of the time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether, Whether it's joining, joining a secret dueling club, club or, or sneaking, sneaking into the restricted, restricted section of the library, you just hey, have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank, Thank you, Sebastian. I'll, I'll keep that in mind. mind. Good. Good. Pleasure, Pleasure chatting, chatting with you. you. I'm, I'm sure, sure I'll see you soon. soon. Perhaps, Perhaps somewhere, somewhere unsanctioned? We'll, we'll see, see if, your if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look at the rattle near the clock tower It was skill. If you're interested. Till next time. Let me answer. Yeah, bitch. Akia. Let me answer. Off and let me answer. Are we? I really thought I was done with them. I'll pet you. Okay, bro's getting hair on my on my new kicks. Oh. No, he's running. Let me get you through there. Let me answer. Bro, beard. Move, pussy owls. Rebellion. It's what up. about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Dee. Bro, isn't he <gasps> getting bitches? Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Bye, Deke. Ah, there you are. Oh, no. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hackett and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? 
Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. I'm not sure I have time for extra assignments, Professor. You shall find the time. You'd be right, astonished time if I'm with to know you, just but... how much you don't know. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily mm -hmm. to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way mm. here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Oh, damn it. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Nancy Ionai. Like I've noticed you well. you're spending time with them. I'm always playing. About Natty, Sebastian, I think. Natty. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of oh, Victor no, Rookwood's no. undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavoury local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. Can we the, the castle doors with these nuts in your mouth like that? The sooner you can enjoy a butter beer at the three broomsticks. I'm down to the butter barn. Ah, what there up, you are. You have a new spell. I do, eat. I do. And an exceedingly useful one at that. The men fixes things right up, makes a broken. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in. More frequently than one would imagine. As a number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will yeah, have you casting Ropero in no time. I'll start oh, on the task start right, on away, the task right away, Professor. Got it. <laughs> Let me go. Preliminary. I completed the assignments, Professor. Let us give the old mending charm a try, then, shall Remember to be the... Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Easy, dogs. Oh, it almost got me. It almost got me. A para. Repair. That's it. Very good. If you would like Rebellion. to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Unnecessarily. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor, you must be eager to have your... I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall Mm. I was glad that, Professor man. Weasley asked me to back. accompany you. Hey, a drink. Really? Yeah, hey, we're back. Yes, I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a better be in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's hour was perfect. I got ice cream. Oh, 
I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. Mm, I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Oh. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Neither did I, but I could take the snow. Here. I often spot lace wing flies in this area. Potato. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Okay. Okay. From the forbidden forest. Hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Going in. Why don't you just follow me, Natasha? He's already seen the hippogriffs. Absolutely. Likely already named them too. Those are the bullies. That's the forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the Hey, woman, why don't you follow it? Hmm. Crazy endurance. I know it's jogging, but like I would spend all of my time by the bit. If I could. I can like surprised when Professor, Professor Weasley mentioned, mentioned that you knew the area, area since, since you're relatively new here. here. She said that. Mm. She, she knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. Mm. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling okay. quite strange. So, if, if you can only see those things pushing the characters um, when you can only see them pushing the shit. What about you can only you? see them if you've experienced and they've experienced. What happens if... Um, what happens if... Hang on. We'll catch up. You might want to turn back, Miss Olai. Turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? What happens if you the near death experience to see those things? What happens if you like I don't know, what if you just you think you're gonna die? You're drowning in water, but you actually survive. Dudley and Arian. I shall be at the castle. What if someone just points a gun at you? Come on. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. 
rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. Right. I know you like me. I don't see your mama. And here we are. It, it is, is hard to, to know where to start. Let's go. The three broomsticks is here. Yeah. And, and you can, can get, get any sweet you can imagine, imagine at Hanami Jinx. I, I could not choose a favorite shop here. Rebellion. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hotsmith. Okay, it's Let good. Let me Bye, cat. Rebellion. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spell crafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience helps me. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. I really hate the tutorial telling me what to do. Oh, oh no. I'll be right with it. Ah, it's you. Um, yeah, the boy who lived. Moment, please. Hello, Hello, sir. I'm, I'm looking, looking for, for a new wand. Yes. It's, it's about time. time. Yes. Uh, about, about time? Well, well you're, you're our new fifth year student, are you not? Oh, what, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, uh, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a well, pleasure to meet better. you. Truly. Now, come, come with, with me. Let's, let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? We don't want it in here. No, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Mm. Half inches. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Mm. Nice. You, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more, come, come on, on, really switch it. Good night. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll, we'll find you find something, something not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Sure, uh, maybe 11. Uh, uh, hmm. Perhaps. I'm gonna grab another green one. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. 13 inches. Let's Dude, give this one a try. crazy. Much bigger than me. Yeah. Oh, 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 goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh. <sighs> this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How oh, perplexing. Um. Where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. I reckon it might be. Here. I'm still enough for it. Take it. I'll be what asking do you one. Think? Extraordinary. <laughs> another another one, another, another beginning, beginning of a bright and magical, magical future. I <laughs> want <sighs> to keep my old wand. I'll get rid of it. Now, Not you, how did that feel? Good. Good. Different. I, I sense a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. 
The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. And the left wand needs to try it out. Of course. And the Phoenix Feather Core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. I use two wands. Bro, you know you're not meant to be out here. Dumb with Craig. Yeah, oh, pussy. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though. I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Yeah. Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? Um... Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Nah, but I'll come scared. back another time if you're in a rush today. I'm in a rush. Hello. Oh, come in, come in. Welcome, Welcome to, to Madam Snelling's Tress Emporium. Emporium. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure, sure I've no need to introduce, introduce myself. myself. They, they used to call me Snelly. Oh, Snelly, why aren't you studying to be an aura? But I showed them. They're stuck in the dust of the ministry, and I'm here thriving. Absolutely thriving. But look at you. Look at you. I can Sorry. certainly see why you paid me a visit. Looking for a change, are we? Why not, I say? What sort of change? Some are going for that mother with consumption sort of death becomes me allure. But you won't find poisons here. No need for chloride of lime or ammonia when you have magic. Why don't, Why don't you spend, spend a moment choosing, choosing how you'd like, like to look? look. You, you can, can change, change your hair too, if you'd like. like. What, what services, services do you offer? Uh. Imagine if Ninja got a little table fee. No thanks.
Ah, ça que c'est Imagine if Ninja got that low grade. I don't think I'll go with this. Uh, mm. I'm oh. not in game wise, skin uh, amateur wise. A little bit darker. Like that. Might as well give me a, a mad scar. Nice eyebrows, little do. Yeah, I don't want it. Ah. Yeah, you're right. Got me a nice haircut. I'm a um, cut me a new bitch with his haircut. I cut a couple new bit with his haircut. What up, G? Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the ditany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then. Merlin's beard. Starting up walks is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm, I'm choosing, choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo! Not no, everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way, and this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm in the way. I suppose not. In addition to C, but what's it? Oh. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. Hello. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here, Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity. But that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Uh, uh, um. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. Let me also go ass over here.
Okay, well, I reckon I'm gonna end the episode here. This episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you're enjoying this, gonna be enjoying the series. Oh, if you're enjoying the series, leave a like, comment down below what you think of the series, and um, hope you guys enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye and peace.